Hi, this is Thomas. In this short video tutorial, I will show you how to create a post quantum PKI using the NIST candidate algorithm Dilithium. First, a warning using the NIST candidate algorithms as of now, 2023, is for non production use only. And this is because when NIST publishes the final standards in 2024, the algorithm will be changed and whatever you do now will be non interoperable. So what you can do now is fine for learning, uh, proof of concept, and testing out the new algorithm capabilities, but you will have to change it later on when the final standards are published. Prerequisites for this tutorial are is to have an EGBCA container started with client certificate authentication, meaning that you have a super admin P12 imported into your web browser and use this to access the EGBCA admin UI. We will use this in a follow-up tutorial to also access the sign server in order to do uh, code signing with a post-quantum algorithm. There are links here to uh, earlier tutorials that show you how to uh, set up the prerequisites. It's easy. In this tutorial we will create a simple CA hierarchy with the root CA, the trust anchor, and the sub CA being the issuing CA that we we'll later on will use to issue an ended certificate for code signing. Let's get started. So here's my freshly started EGBCA 800 container. So in order to create CAs, we will first create certificate profiles for the CA certificates. In this, uh, since it's for non-production use only, I will keep it simple and use the built-in uh, certificate templates. Uh, and do minor edits to them. There are uh, other better tuto or tutorials uh, that show you how to configure profiles for more production-like usage. So we will we'll clone the root CA profile and create a new uh, profile called my PQC root CA profile. Create this, make a small edit. So we will only allow the lithium three for the root CA and we will have a maximum validity of 30 years. Okay, that's the only thing we will change except LDAP-D in order. We will do the same for the sub-CA. Co create a MyPQC sub-CA profile and make a small edit to this. For the sub-CA, we will allow only Dalithium 2 and a max validity of 15 years. So let's keep it simple and uh, do it like this. Okay, now we have uh, certificate profiles. Now we create crypto tokens. Crypto tokens hold the CA signing keys, which are needed in order to create CAs. So we will create one crypto token for the root CA and one crypto token for the sub CA. Uh, We'll create a root CA PQC crypto token. And here we will create a signing key which uses Dilithium 3. We will create a test key with the same algorithm. And we will create an encrypt key. Uh, where we will have to use RSA still, but that doesn't matter. The encrypt key is only an internal key and not used by the CA per se. So we will do the same for a uh, sub CA PQC. Here we will create a signing key for Dilithium 2 and a test key using the same algorithm and again an internal encrypt key uh, using RSA 2048. Okay, now we have uh, created keys for the CAs and we can create the CAs ourselves. So then we go to certification authorities and we create a PQC root CA. So 
here we will select the root CAPQC crypto token. We will make sure that the lithium 3 is used for the signing algorithm for the CA. Then it actually selects good uh, values here automatically for the certificate signing key, uh, the test key, and the default key. Uh, we can set a uh, subject DN, something like that. This is a self signed root CA using a MyPQC root CA profile. And uh, well, let's give it 30 year validity. You might want it shorter in rare. Uh, in production, but for this purpose, we can use whatever value we want. Okay, that's all uh, we need for a test. So, create a CA, it's pretty fast. And uh, PKC sub CA, which will be signed by the root CA. Here, the same thing, we will create uh, select the uh, correct script token or sub CA. For the sub CA, only the lithium 2 is available, and here it also selects uh, good defaults the sign key for signing certificates and CRLs, test key for testing, and default key for internal purposes. So we can set a uh, decent subject DN and say that this one will be signed by the PQC root CA. So since it's a sub CA, uh, it uses the sub CA certificate profile and you can use 15 years for validity. And that should be it. Create the CA. Uh, quite fast. Now we have created the, uh, the, the hierarchy. We can go in and look at the uh, CA certificates on the CA structure and CRL. For the root CA, we can view the certificate. It says issue DN is root CA, subject DN root CA, public key, the lithium 3, signature algorithm, the lithium 3. All looks good. Uh, for the sub CA, uh, the issuer is the root CA, of course. The subject DN is the sub CA, and it, this one uses the lithium 2. The signing algorithm is the lithium 3, that's because it's signed by the root CA, which uses the lithium 3. So, that's it. Finally, in order to prepare for the next uh, tutorial uh, where we uh, will sign using Sign Server, we will download the Management CA certificate as a PEM file. And this in order to configure Sign Server to accept our super admin uh, client certificates used for uh, in the web browser. So. That was it for this uh, short video tour. Thank you.